Now students, let's talk about paraphilias part 2. Now here what you need to keep in mind is students often get confused between frauterism and fetishism. Now it's very easy to know the difference between the two if you understand the root words as in where these words originated from. Now both of these words are French in origin. So here frottage means frotter in French to mean to rub. Okay, so here this is rubbing one's genitalia against another unsuspecting person, usually a female, against her thighs or buttocks. Now, this is usually done in public crowded places, specifically public transport. This is punishable under Section 290 of the IPC and 291 of the IPC. 354 may also be applied of the IPC, which is nothing but outraging the modesty of a woman. Now, when we talk about fetishism, here it is the French word fetish or fetiche. Here, it's a spell, charm or sorcery. Basically, there is sexual arousal involving use of non-living objects, right? This object has a spell on this person. So, it is a non-specific genital body part also of a person it can be. Some people are very attracted to the collarbone or the shoulder, whatever it is, okay? The accused may end up stealing these items if it's a non-living object. And this is not a crime on its own, but often it is usually associated with theft or masturbation in public along those lines. I hope that this has been helpful.